Thursday through Sunday at Kohl's. School savings are back in session. Take $10 off your purchase of $30 or more. Go to Kohl's.com and download your savings pass. Plus, everyone gets $10 Kohl's cash for every $50 spent. Be yourself, Kohl's. Real cheese people pack uber flavor into ultra-thin. Sargento ultra-thin slices with just 45 calories a slice. That's 45 reasons to layer, stack, sneak, eat, beg, like, love. Sargento, we're real cheese people. A new test with pluggable Febreze. We rented this resort, hid smelly objects all over each villa, and plugged in Febreze. Then real people were asked to stay for a long weekend. Would they smell anything? The room itself was like... Huh. Feels like someone has pumped fresh oxygen into the room. On the last day, we revealed everything. Oh. And we were sitting right on it. Febreze is stunningly effective. Continuously eliminate odors for up to 45 days. Break out the Febreze you plug in and breathe happy. Hey, South Florida. How you doing? Get ready, because I've got your hot topics, and they're even hotter than your weather. <laughs> so spend the afternoon right here with us. The Wendy Williams Show, weekdays at 3 on WPTV News Channel 5. Car accident? People are talking about Steinger is going green. After Marito's accident, they got her $94,000. Check this out. Steinger is going green got Rod $900,000. Talk about getting paid. 800 566 Soil is the foundation for healthy plants, just like gums are the foundation for healthy teeth. The new Colgate Total Daily Repair Toothpaste. It helps remineralize enamel and fight plaque germs for healthier teeth and gums. Strengthen the foundation for healthy teeth. New Colgate Total Daily Repair. Car accident? People are talking about Steinger is going green. When Deborah was injured in a car accident, the other driver refused to admit fault. So Deborah called Steinger is going green. They got the truth. And Deborah got the cash. One million dollars. 800-561-1111. Getting tips from our viewers because y'all are just so smart. We want you guys to take a look at some of our latest, um, well, I call them tips, but most of my staff calls them foolproof hacks. Check yourselves out. Do you have any old pillowcases lying around? Well, you can take those old pillowcases and make them into a garment bag. Cut out a small triangle shape from the closed end of your pillowcase. This is what your hanger hook is going to go through. Flip it on over clothing you have lying around that you would like to protect. And there you have it, your brand new garment bag. I have a simple and easy way to help keep you cool during those hot summer months. Well, I've got a couple lemons here. I'm just going to slice them up. I'm going to place one in the bottom of each one of these. Pour water into each one. You just simply pop it in the freezer. To spend a couple thousand hour ice cubes are ready to take out of the freezer. And I'm just gonna pop them right in. Nice, refreshing, gives it a little hint of lemon flavor. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, we got time for one last hack. This is Amy from Long Island, yes? yes. All right, show us your brilliant uh, hack. Okay, so if you ever have kids and they do put permanent marker on a dry erase board, all you have to do is take a dry erase marker, scribble over it. That is amazing. And, and it takes it right off? Yeah. So why don't they just sell like an erase marker with a regular marker? <laughs> I don't know. They should start making a set, right? They owe Amy a, a, a cut. Well done. It's almost perfectly gone. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you. We see you. Bye-bye. New at noon, a five-month-old is dead in Boynton Beach. Now police are involved. We'll have details on this. Plus, day three of school bus problems in Palm Beach County. What administrators are now promising us. We're back in 30 seconds. I see an F-150 barreling down the road, and he's on his cell phone texting, and he didn't stop and went right into the back of my car. I couldn't go back to work. And I was wondering every month, how am I going to pay the bills? How am I going to pay the bills? A different law firm couldn't get Cliff what he deserved. So we took over. They don't treat you like someone off the street. They, they take you, hold you, and guide you through the whole process. Call Kogan and DeSalvo now.
Tropical storm Danny is moving and is expected to grow in strength. Where is it heading now? How strong will it get? Storm Team 5's Glenn Glazer has the latest on its track. Glenn, uh, fill us in. All right, good afternoon, Holiday, and everyone. Let's take a look at Tropical Storm Danny as it continues to work its way over to the west here on the central Atlantic right now. Still very well organized, but no really big changes since this morning other than it has slowed down. A little bit. It was moving at about 14 miles per hour, now moving at about 10 to 12 miles per hour to the west. Wind still at 50 miles per hour, and the forecast track takes it a little bit to the northwest, possibly becoming a Category 1 hurricane by Friday. But here's where the other change comes in. Uh, previous runs had it possibly strengthening into a Category 2 storm, now leaving it a Category 1 storm as it heads into the Eastern Caribbean by the time we get to Monday morning. Now, there's a lot of time for this storm to continue to change, and the forecast will change quite a bit over the next few days, especially because the storm has slowed down a lot, and that will give it time to sort of wiggle back and forth and change intensity. So we'll continue to keep you up to speed with that. We do have some rainfall around moving in, especially uh, near the coast. We've got some showers and thunderstorms developing along the sea breeze up along the Treasure Coast and some isolated shower activity all the way down through Palm Beach County. We're going to talk more about that and the rest of your forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Glenn. Detectives are investigating the death of a five-month-old baby in Boynton Beach. News Channel 5's Katie Johnson is live from outside the police department with what we know so far. Katie. Well, the department is releasing very few details at this time, but what we do know is that this five-month-old baby died yesterday after spending several days in a trauma center with multiple injuries. Take a look at your screen. Here are some pictures of the baby given to us by someone close to the family. His name is Christian Bent. Those close to him say his father picked him up from a babysitter on the 14th. The father telling our source that baby Christian was lethargic and that he was covered from head to toe with bruises which appeared like he may have been beaten. He took the baby to the hospital and then called police. DCF confirms the agency removed the baby's sibling from their father's care pending the outcome of this investigation. And the agency also confirms that it has never investigated this family before. We'll be sure to have you the latest updates on this story coming up all new at 4, 5, and 6. For now, we're live in Boynton Beach. Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5. At this hour, the former pitchman for Subway Sandwiches is expected to plead guilty to having child pornography and having sex with a minor. Jared Fogle reached a plea agreement with prosecutors that would see him serve between five and 12 and a half years. Fogle is accused of traveling to have sex with at least two teenage girls. The biggest problem the Palm Beach County School District is facing so far this year delays with those school buses. Parents are still complaining the buses aren't running their routes as they should. The school district is analyzing how the morning went right now. School officials promise to speak with us more about the bus issues later this afternoon. This morning and all this month, we are focusing on the topic of bullying. It is a problem many students will face during the school year, whether they're bullied, they're the bully, or they see a classmate being bullied. It just keeps kept on piling, piling on, and I just felt like I was in a cage trapped, and I was just getting like stuff thrown at me, and it hurt. We found many young people who share Kobe's story, and we know there are so many more out there who are afraid to tell someone. A lot of parents, you want to help too, you just don't know how. So this evening, we're going to be answering your questions about bullying. During our newscast from 5 to 6.30, we'll have a panel of experts here to take your calls and provide you with information that hopefully will be helpful. A developing story right now near Tampa where a sinkhole has opened up. This is the same area here in Sefner where a man died when a sinkhole opened under his house about two years ago. It swallowed him while he was asleep in his bedroom. St. Lucie County prosecutors will decide if a teenager should be charged as an adult for allegedly stabbing his girlfriend and her mother. Investigators say the teen attacked the two yesterday morning in their home in Fort Pierce. The mother and her 15-year-old daughter are still in the hospital. They are expected to survive. 
The girl's ex-boyfriend faces two counts of attempted first-degree murder. A pedestrian was killed this morning after investigators say the person darted out in front of a car. This was on Okeechobee Boulevard and Haver Hill Road. Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies say the driver couldn't avoid it. Police in Port St. Lucie are looking for car burglars who've made a series of attacks. This security video was taken from one incident on Southwest Falcon Circle between August 15th and August 17th. Police say they have received reports of five break-ins, all in the western side of the city. They think one of the thieves is driving a silver, maybe even a white four-door car. The front hubcap could be missing. If you have any information, call Port St. Lucie Police. West Palm Beach Police are now patrolling the streets with body cameras. Nearly 200 officers will be getting acquainted with the new cameras in the coming weeks. They are not required to have them on at all times, and there is a criteria for recording. For instance, the officers must record any call where they're interacting with a citizen. They can decide whether or not, though, to keep recording once they get to the scene of something. It definitely adds context. Um, you see a lot of these videos that are going around on the internet, they have no context. It just shows officers doing the most, um, in some eyes, exciting, and in other instances, the most, uh, most violent parts of the job. Um, but now it adds context to it. Stewart Police have also outfitted some of its officers with body cameras. West Palm Beach is beefing up its rescue abilities by adding a new fire station. Station 9 will sit near Roebuck Road in Haver Hill. The city says it will help reduce its medical response times. The station, though, will not open until January 1st. The cost is being covered by a FEMA grant awarded last month. A bit of a scare in suburban Lantana this morning when someone found a suspicious metal box on their car. The sheriff office bomb squad was called to the home on Peak Road. People in five to six homes around it had to evacuate. The bomb squad determined nothing was in the box. Some neighborhoods and beaches will be closed tomorrow and Friday. This is in Vero Beach. We want to show you a map of the areas that will be affected. Contractors are removing about a dozen World War II era munitions discovered in the water. They'll be detonated a mile offshore. Palm Beach County will not require finger Fingerprint background checks for Uber drivers and looser rules appear to be coming for taxi and limo drivers as well. County commissioners are expected to vote next month to allow Uber, limos, and taxis to do their own background checks. More than 600 of you commenting on this story right now on our WPTV Facebook page. Will Old Dixie Highway be renamed Barack Obama Highway in Riviera Beach? The city's mayor is pushing for it. He says Dixie evokes memories of race racism in the South. Opponents say the city has bigger things to worry about. There is a meeting on this tonight at 530 and of course we will be keeping close tabs on this. Get ready to be wowed. Port St. Lucie is jazzing up its waterfront. These renderings show what it could look like in the area next to the Botanical Gardens on Westmoreland Boulevard. The drawings include the city's first port as well as waterfront dining and a river walk. A budget and construction schedule won't come until after those plans are approved. All of this change, it's not going to be immediate. The assistant city manager says it'll take about 50 years for the land to be developed. Delray Beach City Commissioners are saying yes to a new IPIC theater, but they want the developer to make some tweaks. A bit of a marathon meeting here on this last night. The mayor says he supports the theater, but wants the developer to come back with a better plan for parking and jobs. Supporters say the new entertainment venue will boost the downtown economy. Opponents say it's too big and will cause traffic and parking nightmares. One man has been tasked with saving the old Boynton Beach High School. Commissioners have unanimously agreed to hold off on destroying the building. Instead, they're giving an architect four months to come up with a plan to save it. There is a new artificial reef in Jupiter for divers to enjoy. It was dedicated this morning in memory of Andrew Red Harris. His foundation collected donations to create the reef. Harris's family started the foundation after a boat hit and killed him while he was snorkeling in June of last year. Loxahatchee is honoring one of its own in this case. Uh, you know, it's just the world's ugliest dog. Town council members recognized Quasimodo for doing what she does best, attract attention. Since winning the title in June, she's done TV, newspaper, and radio appearances with her owners, bringing a positive light to the town. 
Hackers are following through on a threat, and it could be costly, not to mention embarrassing to some computer users. We'll have that story for you coming up. Plus, a woman is attacked at church. What does she have to say about the men who did this? And is this the new way to get around the golf course? We'll show you what's happening at a Florida course when we come back in just 60 seconds with more local coverage. I'm Carrie D. I've had moderate to severe plaque psoriasis most of my life, but that hasn't stopped me from modeling. My doctor told me about Stellara. It helps keep my skin clearer. With only four doses a year, after two starter doses, Stellara helps me be in season. Stellara may lower your ability to fight infections and increase your risk of infections. Some serious infections require hospitalization. Before starting Stellara, your doctor should test for tuberculosis. Stellara may increase your risk of cancer. Always tell your doctor if you have any sign of infection, have had cancer, or if you develop any new skin growths. Do not take Stellara if you are allergic to Stellara or any of its ingredients. Alert your doctor of new or worsening problems, including headaches, seizures, confusion, and vision problems. These may be signs of a rare potentially fatal brain condition. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you or anyone in your house needs or has recently received a vaccine. In a medical study, most Stellara patients saw at least 75% clearer skin, and the majority were rated as cleared or minimal at 12 weeks. Stellara helps keep my skin clearer. Ask your doctor about Stellara. We want to get to some breaking news right now. The CEO of St. Mary's Medical Center has resigned two days after the hospital closed its pediatric heart surgery program. The Palm Beach Post is reporting David Carbone has resigned from his position and the COO will step in and serve as interim. St. Mary's released a statement to the newspaper saying we appreciate David's dedication to both St. Mary's and the Palm Beach community for the last nine years and we wish him well in his future endeavors. St. Mary's closed its program after a CNN investigation into nine infant deaths at the hospital. Outrage in Omaha after an older woman, check this out, was attacked and robbed in church. A 77-year-old was going into a cathedral Sunday morning. You just saw that right there. Those two men came up behind her. One stole her purse. The other punched her on the side of the face. Prisoners are now concerned, uh, is it safe? Should I be in the church? And we try to assure them that, that this is a safe place. The woman is recovering. She's asking people to pray for the guys who did this to her. Police still have not found them. Hackers claim to have leaked a massive list of users from AshleyMadison.com, a matchmaking website for cheating spouses. The hackers appear to have followed through on a threat made last month that it would make that data public if the website didn't shut down. Experts who've analyzed the data say it includes millions of names, addresses, credit card numbers, and amounts paid. They are, this is really neat here, trying to speed up the game of golf. And now a Florida golf course is experimenting with a new way to make the game quicker. It's called golf board. It's kind of a mix. Check that out. Wow. This is a mix between a skateboard and a Segway, if that kind of gives you a better idea there. Uh, it's being tried out right now at a Bonita Springs golf course. They say so far things are getting positive feedback uh, from the golfers there. They say it normally takes, if you think about it, four hours to complete a round of golf, but with the golf board, they can play two rounds in five hours. It is still a few months before Thanksgiving, but it is already expected to be more expensive than last year. We'll tell you what's costing you this time. Plus, it's a video you can't turn away from. The Great White Shark versus the Seal. Good afternoon again, everyone. We'll have the latest on Tropical Storm Danny coming up in a few minutes. I also want to show you this on Live Viper 5. Max, a line of showers and thunderstorms up along the Treasure Coast. It's almost stationary right now. We'll talk about our chances for rain through the rest of the week coming up. It's early morning and you're up early because, well, the house is already stirring. I have four kids. We're busy. I have to know when severe weather is coming. WPTV Storm Team 5, only in one neighborhood that matters, yours. Lisa and Glenn, they can be fun, but they really crack down when big things are happening. Preparing, alerting, showing the storm from every angle, making sure weather doesn't get in your way. Storm Team 5, the only morning weather team. Today on 5, WPTV News Channel 5.
It's the I-95 Summer RV Show. A huge selection of RVs in air-conditioned comfort. Like this used Heartland Elk Ridge, discounted to just $140 per month. The I-95 Summer RV Show, going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Yeah, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I tried so hard. I can't ride the puppy. I don't know what it is about that little gal's love it, but I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Woo! Well, come on now, baby. I like it. I love it. I like it. I like it. I love it. Woo! Oh, baby. Come on. Technology is making the things around us smarter than ever before. It's making our day-to-day -day easier. And now, what powers those things is Smart 2. With the smart technology behind FPL's online energy dashboard, you can keep track of your energy use. And when you take the free online home energy survey, you'll see where you're using the most energy and find smart new ways to save up to $250 a year. Visit fpl.com slash easy to save and learn how to make your bill even lower. Some build their nests in the sky. Others inhabit places by the sea. And some live among the trees. Whatever habitat is right for you, you'll find the natural fit at City Furniture. It's the I-95 Summer RV Show. A huge selection of RVs in air-conditioned comfort. Like this new Fleetwood Storm, discounted to just $401 per month. The I-95 Summer RV Show, going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. You know, you think you've seen it all, and yeah, then there's this. Who would have thought a seal would win in a battle with a great white shark? This video taken off the coast of Cape Cod. The shark, you saw it, jumped out of the water and tried to grab the seal, but the seal whacks the great white with its tail and then swims away. Researchers from the White Shark Conservancy taped this while tracking sharks. Uh, the cost of Thanksgiving dinner, you already have to think about that after all. It is expected to climb this year. The recent outbreaks of bird flu are causing a bit of a turkey shortage. The Department of Agriculture now estimating it's gonna cost you about 19% more for that turkey this year. Americans gobble up close to 46 million turkeys. This is just on Thanksgiving. That works out to almost three pounds of poultry per person. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. Good afternoon again, everyone, and we take a quick look at a couple things in the tropics here. One, an area of slowly developing low pressure right around Bermuda with only a 30% chance for development. That's going to move up to the north as we get into the weekend here. Really no impact on Florida. And Danny which is now a tropical storm. Remember yesterday it was a tropical depression at this time, but strengthened later in the day. And we're looking at winds now at 50 miles per hour, which is where it was earlier today, and moving to the west at 12 miles per hour. That's a little slower than earlier today. The current forecast has it saying a tropical storm through tomorrow and then possibly strengthening into a Category 1 hurricane on Friday. That's a little different than the previous forecast runs that had it strengthening into a Category 1 hurricane by tomorrow. And then this is different as well, staying possibly a Category 1 hurricane without strengthening to a Cat 2 by the time it reaches the Eastern Caribbean on Monday. There's a lot of wiggle room for this storm right now as it has slowed down and will continue to slow down. Anytime a storm is very slow, it sometimes jogs back and forth a little bit and the strengthening forecast can change. So we'll keep watching it for you. Uh, but as of right now, near the northeastern Caribbean by the time we get to Monday. A look outside and not a bad afternoon so far. Lots of blue skies around in certain parts of our area, but there is quite a bit of rainfall coming down along the Treasure Coast right now, lining up right along that sea breeze that hasn't really pushed very far inland because winds are very light today out of the southeast. And a lot of lightning data coming in between Sebastian and Vero Beach right now. Look at all those lightning strikes coming in in just the past few minutes. That is a lot. That's a pretty good-sized thunderstorm right there, all the way down to the Indian River Mall. Uh, some of the rainfall all the way 
down past Florida Ridge. And into St. Lucie County, a couple spotty showers here and there northwest of Port St. Lucie. We've got some rainfall in Palm Beach County just to the north of Lion Country Safari and a little bit out by Pahokee and a couple showers near Bell Glade. South of West Palm Beach, not a whole lot going on right now, but as we continue through the afternoon, we do have the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms developing, and there will be a slow push from east to west throughout the afternoon. A few storms could be strong, some rainfall could be heavy. A very similar forecast Thursday and Friday, and even over the weekend, a chance for showers along the coast in the morning and then inland during the afternoon. It's that time of the week where we answer some of your common health questions. Joining me as always is News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. So glad to see you today. You too. Rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. you hear a lot about it. Uh, the question that we have from a viewer is can it lead to a heart attack? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we do know that rheumatoid arthritis absolutely does increase your risk for atherosclerosis, heart attack, and even stroke. And what we do know is that it does quicker or more quickly progress hardening of the arteries throughout the body. So why is that? Well, we did a couple studies, and what we have found out or what we think contributes to it is that there's an increase in several inflammatory markers in the body. One is C-reactive protein, and then the other is tumor necrosis factor. So those are inflammatory markers. They can certainly increase inflammation throughout the body, and what we see is that can cause rapid hardening of the arteries. The good news, though, is that if you take rheumatoid arthritis meds like TNF inhibitors, or if you're taking cholesterol-lowering medication, it actually can reduce your risk substantially. Something so, you definitely yeah, absolutely talk to your doctor of. about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, our next question: Is it unusual for your heart to beat much faster than usual? when you're not exercising or also maybe when you're not yeah, excited. Yeah. Sure, well, your normal heart resting heart rate is anywhere between 60 and 100. And anything above that is what we consider tachycardia. Now, there's three different types. There's atrial, there is ventricular, and there's sinus. The first two, atrial and ventricular, are abnormalities in the conduction or the electrical system of the heart. The third is sinus, that's physiologic, typically secondary to something indirect. Anemia, thyroid problems, maybe dehydration, things of that nature, heart failure. Either way, any of those, if you have a resting rapid heart rate, mm -hmm. and you have, especially if you have symptoms such as dizziness, chest pain, or shortness of breath, it's absolutely something I want you to come see us in the emergency department for, because it could be a sign of a serious problem. Don't ignore it. All right, Dr. Absolutely David Saria, thanks so much. If you have a question for the doctor, as always, go to our website. You can do it right now, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. You'll scroll down on the right-hand side. You'll see the form there to ask, ask your question. We'll, we'll get some answers for you, definitely. We'll be right back after this. People just forget what it was like to go through storms after about six or seven years. Our job now is to make people remember what the hurricanes were like 10 years ago and not forget that they still have to prepare. The reality is people start to believe that it won't happen again, and it will happen again. We will see a major hurricane hit here where people don't have a place to go. We're the reassuring voice that gets you through the storm. Teamwork, over 35 years experience. At Cersei Denny, we have an experienced team to pursue justice. At Cersei Denny, we pursue justice if you're a victim of an auto or trucking accident. Learn more at CerseiLaw.com. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Most advanced, most affordable dental implants call Ferber. Our implant price of $4.99 has changed the way Florida smiles. I'm proud to announce the opening of our newest office in Boca. Our superb care and affordable payment plans are now more convenient to South Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade. Call the Ferber Dental Group today, and we'll have you smiling again. Now open in Boca and Lake Worth. Did you know that eating blueberries can improve your memory as you age? or that adding more vegetables to your diet can reduce your risk of heart disease. 
As a registered dietitian, you can help others prevent disease and promote a healthy lifestyle. Kaiser University's bachelor's degree in dietetics and nutrition can be a foundation to a healthy lifestyle and a new career. Call Kaiser today to learn how you can prepare for a degree in dietetics and nutrition. They call you mom, dad, or teacher. It's not just a title, it's a badge of honor. And we salute you. Thank you for waking up with us. WPTV News Channel 5, your back to school station. We love News Channel 5. Hello, Jupiter Tequesta. I need some help with my electrical. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Do you know uninsured motorists account for one in seven traffic accidents? Protect yourself and your family. Learn more about uninsured motorist coverage at CerseLaw.com because you never know about the other guy. The attorneys of Cersei Denny, a passion for justice. HD News on WPTV is sponsored by Stanley Steamer. Are you getting a little bored with that typical hamburger? There's an alternative for you. Here's Howard with the fixings. After a summer of eating burgers every which way, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a change. But rather than giving up burgers totally, I thought I would give them a whole new twist. So I went to the market and I walked right past the meat case and headed towards the fish. Let me show you where I'm going with this. We start off by cutting a pound or so of U.S. farm-raised catfish into chunks and putting it into a food processor along with some torn up white bread. Now, to give this lots of flavor, we add in some fresh garlic, parsley, and a bit of salt and pepper. We give it a whirl until everything is chopped. I would say to the point where it's the consistency of ground beef. We form this into patties and we can make these slider size or the size of big burgers. That's up to you. Then we cook them just like we would any other burger. And as you can see, these hold their shape nicely since the catfish is really meaty. Not to mention, it's pretty darn tasty and very heart healthy. Serve them on a fancy burger bun smothered with sauteed onions and our homemade lemon herb sauce. Let me tell you, you'll be one happy camper. I do hope you'll go online and get the recipe for our fresh catch burgers so you can say goodbye boring and hello to something new. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a locally farmed way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm, looks like lunch to me. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's take one quick look at Live Viper 5 Max this afternoon. I want to show you this heavy rainfall that's coming down all along I-95 and over to the coast from Sebastian down to Fort Pierce right now. As we continue through the afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms slow moving rainfall, so some heavy rainfall in spots. A uh, very similar forecast Thursday through the weekend with morning rainfall closer to the coast and afternoon showers and thunderstorms a little farther inland and our temperatures remain in the low 90s for highs. All right, Glenn. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great afternoon. Be sure to join Michael and Kelly for News Channel 5 at 5 right here on WPTV. It's the I-95 Summer RV Show in Port St. Lucie. Save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this new Fleetwood RV Expedition Diesel Pusher, discounted over $85,000. The I-95 Summer RV Show going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Do you have loose or missing teeth? Do you cover your mouth when you laugh? Appearance implants of Jupiter can give you the smile you've always wanted. Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. We have helped thousands of people like you feel confident and secure. And with fees this low, you'll have lots to smile about. Why wait any longer to have the smile you've always wanted? Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. Appearance implants of Jupiter. Quality dentistry at affordable prices. Tonight, the best season ever of America's Got Talent just keeps getting bigger. Favorite act of the night, Gene Young. Then, Mr. Robinson is a bona fide hit. And it gets even better with Earth, Wind, and Fire. I lost my virginity to shine a star. That's one of our shortest songs. <laughs> I only got halfway through it, right? And finally, the last comic standing semifinals begin. Just found out that my ex is building orphanages in Africa. Dodged that bullet, am I right? It's all new tonight on NBC. 
Hi, I'm Don Cameron from We Buy Ugly Houses. Times are tough. The news says things are getting better and home prices are going up. But can you honestly say your situation is improving? We'll buy any house, ugly or not, as is all cash, and you'll pay no closing costs or commissions. You can get cash in your pocket in as little as 48 hours and stay in your house. Sell your house fast. Call 1-800-44-BUYER or visit webuyuglyhouses.com. What do a NASCAR driver, a comedian, and a professional golfer have in common? We talk to our doctors about treatment with Xeralto. Xeralto is proven to treat and help reduce the risk of DVT and PE blood clots. Xeralto has also been proven to reduce the risk of stroke in people with AFib, not caused by a heart valve problem. For people with AFib currently well-managed on warfarin, there is limited information on how Xeralto and warfarin compare in reducing the risk of stroke. I tried warfarin before, but the blood testing routine and dietary restrictions had me off my game. Not this time. That was Xeralto. I'll have another Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Make mine a Kevin Nealon. Really, Brian? Hey, safety first. Like all blood thinners, don't stop taking Xarelto without talking to your doctor, as this may increase your risk of a blood clot or stroke. While taking, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. Xarelto may increase your risk of bleeding if you take certain medicines. Xarelto can cause serious and, in rare cases, fatal bleeding. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling. If you have had spinal anesthesia while on Xarelto, watch for back pain or any nerve or muscle-related signs or symptoms. Do not take Xarelto if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. Tell your doctor before all planned medical or dental procedures. Before starting Xarelto, tell your doctor about any kidney, liver, or bleeding problems. Xarelto has been prescribed more than 11 million times in the U.S. And that number's growing. Like your guys' scores. With Xarelto, there is no regular blood monitoring and no known dietary restrictions. Treatment with Xarelto was the right move for us. Ask your doctor about Xarelto. It's the I-95 Summer RV Show. A huge selection of RVs in air-conditioned comfort. Like this new Itasca by Winnebago Spirit. Discounted to just $3.16 per month. The I-95 Summer RV Show going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. America. I'm Bill Bellamy, and we have four amazing people from all across the country on their webcams trying to win up to $35,000. So let's meet them. From Dallas, Texas, give it up for Teresa. From Westchester, New York, give it up for Ema. From Nashville, Tennessee, C. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, Roxanne. Welcome, everybody. We asked America their opinions on a bunch of fun topics. All you have to do is guess what America said, and you win the big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah! yeah. All right, let's get this party started. The first question is worth $100. The answers are, stay out of her way. Help stuff her butterball. And the question is, what do wives say is the best way their husband can help at Thanksgiving? Stay out of her way, help stuff her butterball. <laughs> Let's go to Dallas, Texas, and say hello to Teresa. Teresa! Hey, Bill! Tell me about yourself. Hey, I am a knitter. I knit things for Christmas, birthdays. If you know me, you're getting something knitted because that's what I like to do. Brings me peace, and it is oh, so much fun. Teresa, I got to be honest. When you said, I'm a knitter, <laughs> I was Oh, I know what you thought I was saying. I was like, <laughs> I honestly was like, what? <laughs> all right, guys, let's see if we can all win some money. Let's turn those cards around. Everybody said, stay out of her way. With 58% of the vote, the correct answer is, stay out of her way. Everybody has a hundred dollars. This next question is worth 150 bucks. The answers are wash 